Leanne. What's up? I'm Ayla. This is Let's Talk BL, a boys love podcast. Welcome back to the podcast. It is Sunday, Series Sunday, that day of the week where we talk all things one series and one series only. So, without further ado, we're talking about My Dear Gangster Opa. I feel like, spoiler for yourself, then rewatch it. Like, it's going to be a good time no matter what you do. It's just so cute. It's a really huge one. Honestly, I was sus, but like I was always going to watch it because Meet and Ping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when I first read the synopsis when the show first got announced, I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Like it was yeah. questionable. Yeah, like yeah, it yeah. feel it felt very questionable to me. And it's a, like it's a limited show. It's a shorter show. Yeah. There were just a lot of reasons that I was like. Mm. Yeah, it's adapted from a Korean webtoon. And I feel like when I think of that, I think of like semantic error and uh, our dating sim. Oh, see, I think what threw me off was the fact that they kept the full title. They kept My Dear Gangster Uh, Opa. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, how Korean are the Thai going to try to go? I was like, are they going to make them speak Korean? Like, I was like, I think that's what threw me off. Not so much the like, yeah, it was more the synopsis because the synopsis of this is much different than Semantic Error. So, like, I don't think Semantic Error when I hear this show because it's so different. But, like, definitely I was like, why are we still calling it My Dear Gangster Opa? Like, that's weird to me. Uh, Yeah, and, like, like, there was nothing in the show that lent itself to that title because even the title of the webtoon is like something totally different yeah so i was like that's what that's what made me sus about it i was like ooh, how like because listen thai bills are great and like thai thailand is great and thai culture is great and the way that the thai do things are great Mm -hmm. so i was like we don't need to be korean Mm -hmm. we don't need to like we can be like be thai even if you're like even if you're adapting it i feel like Yeah, you can make it your own. Like Cherry Magic is a good example. But yeah, I was sus. I was sus. But this is actually such a cute show. I was really into it. I love the way they made it. We'll get into all of that. Okay, let's get with the nuts and bolts first. It's only eight episodes. Short, short little easy watch. Although I will say I was satisfied with the eight episodes. Yeah, I don't need more. No. (laughs) Not like a, not like no tea, no shade. No tea, no shade. But like, no, like they did a good, they did a good job. Mean and Ping already have another show. So like, I want more Mean and Ping. I want more Winner. I want, right. But like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally everyone in this show has another show already in the book. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. (laughs) That was fantastic. Uh, it's on IG. It's adapted, uh, like I said, from a Korean webtoon. Uh, we have two, played by Mean, and Guy, played by Ping. Okay, synopsis time. <clears throat> University nerd Guy secretly loves his best friend, Wan. To, relive the lo- to relieve the loneliness of one-sided love, Guy's hobby is playing games. It's in a game that Guy meets a kind sister named Yuri, who he later discovers is a handsome young mafioso named <laughs> Tiu. While Guy starts to open his heart due to Tiu's gentleness, he gets to know Tiu's mysterious and terrifying past. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, that's, that's a really solid. good synopsis. That's a really solid synopsis. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to whoever wrote this synopsis. It's the synopsis from the webtoon. Uh. Yeah. I don't know what the IG synopsis is. Those are those are usually very lengthy. Yeah, those are usually so long. Okay, let's talk about the show. First of all, what like before we get into the characters and everything, one yeah, thing I that I really loved about this show was the way that they showed us like the in game versus real life thing. The way that they yeah. introduced the characters in the game, I thought they did such a good job of doing it. It didn't feel like cheesy or forced or weird or like yeah. off because sometimes like. I don't know what like that can be difficult and I thought they did a like I I thought they introduced the characters in a really cool way that like you saw them in the game and then you saw them in real life like I just thought they did that really cool I also appreciate that they did it at the beginning to introduce you to the kind of foundation of how these characters got connected but then they moved on from it they never went back to it they never yeah you don't like live half the show in the game or anything Yeah. yeah 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 I thought that was cool yeah uh Shout out to the Bong San Aquarium. Bong San Aquarium. <laughs> if you watched our vlog with Peace Dufe, um, you recognize this aquarium. If you didn't watch our vlog with Peace Dufe, go watch go our watch vlog with now. Peace Dufe. Uh, because truly, we could have never guessed that literally everyone and their mom would be going to Bong San and the aquarium. I mean, listen, I will say originally we had booked a different activity yeah. with Peace Dufe. When we were going to Thailand, we had like pre-arranged that we were going to do a vlog with Peace Dufe. Yes. Because, you know, Sia and Mark Poom at first, right? 
like, oh my God, Mark Boom, right? So many reasons. And literally like what was it was like uh, the day before the day before the day before they were like hey what if we go to bong san instead or no they wanted to go somewhere else and we were like no we've already yeah. done that yeah and then they were like okay what about bong san and we were sus and everyone we knew was sus like literally all yeah. the thai people we were with that like thai youths were like you go there to cry. you go there to cry like you know <laughs> by wrong high tea bong san. which makes sense because at the end of this series a uh, guy goes to Bong San to cry. So the story, and, and it all makes sense because of guys, yeah. right? So, like, the reason you go to Bong San to cry is because it's the closest beach to Bangkok. Mm-hmm. And so, and you can get there in, like, an hour. Yeah. And so if you, like, got a bad grade or somebody broke your heart yes. or, right, for whatever reason, you just want to, like, be alone by the seaside. Go watch, go watch the If ocean. you want to, like, be alone by the seaside, you go to Bong San, <laughs> and typically it's because you're, like, emotional. And I will say Bong San is a little, like, dreary. Well, we went on a day that it was rainy, <laughs> so it's not always dreary. That's unfair. Part of the day it was very sunny and, like, windy and beautiful yeah, yeah, and cute. Yeah, 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 it yeah. is not dreary. <laughs> It literally was raining the day we went. And so Beth Ann's like, it's always dreary. I know when we were at the seafood restaurant, it was very cute it was and so like cute. sunny and nice. Yeah. But then by the time we got to the end of it, tr- also the end of just like a full day of like gallivanting with three boys. I wasn't tired. I was peppy. I was good to go. Anyways, it was so very cute. it all makes sense. Any- so basically, shout Bong, Bong San, shout out Peace to Faye for knowing what was going to be trending. It's true. Yeah. Uh, that's but fantastic. I will say, if you're going to Thailand, my hot tip is go to Bang San. Don't you go. don't need to go to the aquarium. No. Just trust me on don't this one. It. Just trust me on this one. I I know that our vlog made it look cute and fun and fresh. Um, and also I know that like this show, really this makes, show it, yeah. makes it look cute and fun and fresh. It's not. <laughs> um, I will say the way that these two characters meet in that aquarium is very very cute, especially with the fact that Tew is a gangster and he's like I play video games and I'm going to meet this boy that I like at the aquarium or this person I don't remember is does Tew lo- like guy from the beginning yes okay yes he likes guy from the beginning and he knows guy's a boy yeah but guy just doesn't know anything Tew's about gender Tew. yeah. right right uh, so when they have that little meet cute with like the balloons and like the whole situation, yeah, very I th- cute. Yeah, I, we I th- both, we both in that moment were like, Mean and Ping are just mean and so ping. damn cute. Mean, and, I mean Ping, especially Ping, and this so- is where my frustration with Juan comes <sighs> in. Is I'm like my guy like on one hand i understand that it could be unbelievable and overwhelming if like ping has a crush on you like i can understand why that would just be like so overwhelming you don't know what to do with it but at the same time like if given the opportunity why are you not seizing the day yeah i will say do we want to start talking about juan's character sure let's talk about because we get introduced to juan from the very 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 beginning because of course this is why guy is playing video games is because he's like sad that juan doesn't love him because he's followed juan to college and juan is like girl yeah i swear to god when that girl showed up in that uh little tunnel and we both were like are you for real i was like no i was so upset we both knew that like a girl was gonna show we had we had the feeling how dare uh Here's what I will say about one. First of all, Winner plays this character so well that, like, you want to hate him, but, like, you hate what he's doing and you hate you hate like his actions but I don't hate him as a person I think that it made Winner did such a good job with this character because yeah. he made you you were able to understand where Guy was coming from, right? Because it could be yeah. so easy in the situation to look at it and be like, I don't understand why Guy doesn't just stop hanging out with him and get over him. Right. But like, you watch it and you're like, yeah, I'm frustrated with him. I'm upset with him too. But also like, I like him. And I know he's not a bad guy, but like he is a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. No. He just I mean, is being frustrating essentially. Yeah. The Well, the whole conversation that we get, which in... Uh, I think it's an ep seven where uh, Juan gets drunk and he confesses his feelings. I appreciate that guy pushes him off the bed. <laughs> I really loved. I love that they didn't kiss. I love that he's like, bro, you're drunk. 
shut your face. And then the next day they have this conversation when they, where they finally, where guy straight up is like, you told me you liked me. Like, what was that about? And I did appreciate Juan explains himself in the best way that he can, where he was like, to me, it felt like he was like, I have feelings for a dude and I didn't know how to process that. Plus you're my best friend and I don't want to lose you. And right. like, there's a lot of layers going He's like, on. I don't want to figure out my sexuality with you because that right. can go like, I want to figure it out, but I'm nervous to figure it out with you. Yeah. Which yeah. is very much like it's so mature, <laughs> which, which is very much like, uh, what is that? The Korean one semantic error. No, no. The one that you really love. We both really love. light on me. Yes. Where that, like the main, whatever that boy's name, the one he doesn't end up with. It's very much that same situation, yes. right? It's like, th- there's this cute boy that I enjoy being friends with. And I feel all the butterflies for when we interact, but like, I don't feel, I don't, I'm not there with my myself identity. Yeah. Yet. I'm not there with myself yeah. yet. And yeah. so I really, those stories are very interesting. And I feel like we're getting this, this kind of trope time and time again in BL. It's like, I'm in love with my best friend and my best friend knows I'm in love with them, but they don't stop hanging out with me. And we're just like navigating. We this, just like, pretend like it's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We navigate this mess. And then this really, really cute boy shows up and I'm like, bye. And the best friend's like, wait, yeah, <laughs> there's like all these things. I mean, listen, it's understandable. Uh, like, I will say, sweet, sweet guy has such a difficult choice in front of him because winner is so cute, mean, so cute, so everybody's so cute, <laughs> so much cuteness. Uh, yeah, I do. I also really like Guy and Tew's dynamic in the beginning where Guy is the one that's, like, friends with Tew and, like, the rest of the group isn't really. So they're yeah. like, you have to help us, like, get him, like, yeah. there. And so he's trying so hard and he's just, like, so worried at all times he's going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing mm-hmm. or whatever. And it's, like, really funny. Oh, also, another thing I really like about Tew from the very beginning is he gets in that fist fight and, like, that was hot. <laughs> that was so hot. Oh, <laughs> like, another really hot moment <laughs> is um in F7 where they're – First of all, they're kissing in the room and guy is like, hold on. I, ne- I can't catch my breath. I swear to God. But then there's a knock on the door and guy or two in his like his like vest pushes guy to the side and is like, stay here. And he like gets his gun. And he's yeah. Like, that was hot. I, was like, I understand that like mean could never actually be a gangster because like the practicality of being a gangster does not lend itself to means talent. <laughs> But like in my heart, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I love love the way that they made this like sweet gangster boy so soft. Really, if you think about it, because like he just wants friends. He he wants he's just lonely. (laughs) He wants this cute boy. He like right because he was like the whole reason he became a gangster was because he was an orphan and this like gang daddy classic had to or adopted him to like do his. His dirty work. I mean, listen, all of the BLs lately are loving a gang daddy moment. There's also a gang daddy moment in Pit Bay, but like a supernatural gang daddy. Right. So like, yeah. And like a really evil gang daddy. But a gang daddy nonetheless. Um, The villain in this series, truly the, one of the ugliest villains they've ever made. I mean, if the, <laughs> the, out, hair. The, the, the hair. The outside matches the inside, right? Like, I do appreciate it's when true. like you know they're supposed to be a villain. Yeah. I don't like when they're an undercover villain. Or when they're humanized at all. I want to hate you fully. (laughs) Yeah. Or when they're just like so hot and you're like, God, (laughs) like there was a tweet recently about this and like somebody straight. And so like part of the tweet is about August from Young Royals. Yes, yes, yes. And somebody straight up replied and was like, no, but like we're all in August. And I was like, I understand you like cow jai because August do be so hot but like and also August has like his moments where he like yeah. like you think but then he doesn't listen he's just yeah. going through something yeah 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 yeah, yeah. He's but there's, here's something. the thing there are different levels of going through something there's like I'm going through something and I'm a really shitty person to literally everyone and then there's I'm going through something and like I'm only tangentially shitty because I can't figure out who I am. Kind of like, like Juan. Juan. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like Juan is definitely going through something. Oh. Yeah. So many things. He'll get there. I would argue that he Tew's also there. going through something. He got, he has he did his, get there. his little he boy did, at the did. end yeah. where he's sharing his notes. Yeah, yeah. He did get there. <laughs> I want season two with that. But why? Yeah. yeah. With, um, what's the spinoff though? 
it's not it's no longer about a gangster no what's the what's the like cr- somewhat korean title of like i mean like something about like a student right. like student love or something yeah yeah that's very cute student like senior in, love right? story or something like that yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. like yeah yeah when i would write winner of Bial. yeah he's killed it in everything he's done i loved him in war of why yeah Spoiler, we interviewed Winner. That episode is coming yeah. later this week. So good. And he's so cute. And there was a he's moment so in that cute. interview, I'll be interested to see if anybody pinpoints it, where like <laughs> we start talking about like uh Why Idol and War of Why. And I kind of get like a little bit like because like I remembered how much I liked him in that yeah. show. So good. And I was like, all the way up until that point, I wasn't really fangirling. I was like, okay, professionally, like, whatever, yeah, interviewing. Yeah. Be no, cool, no, no. be cool. Like, not really be cool, but I was, like, joking around, right? Because at that point, I had already, like, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was, like, joking around. And then we got to that point in the conversation, and I was like, oh, my God, it's him. Like, I kind of had, like, a moment of, like, oh, my so, God, it's him. He's so nice. He's so fun. He's really, really nice. And he's very, like, what's the word? Not, like, intense, but, like, Thoughtful. Yeah. He's very like thoughtful in the things that he says and the way that yeah. he processes things. Like, yeah, he's yeah. very genuine. He's a very yeah. genuine person. Yeah. Anyways, 10 out of 10. Winner is a 10 yes. out of 10. Okay. The other couple in this series, couple kind of, was Boss and Toon. Yeah. I, they were an interesting couple because like Boss is like c- a complicated character, right? He's playing both sides. He's like, obligated to the villain but like he also has a crush on tune and tune is like two's right hand man and so like it's like a true like it's like a romeo and juliet situation star cross lovers although i i did love they kept their development very like minimal yeah they didn't do a lot because you only have eight episodes and like i don't really get into the weeds with these two no they did really well i enjoyed that what else I feel like this show is just really was cute. Sweet. Like it's fun and it's cute and yeah. it's an easy one to watch from week to week. This is one of the ones that I was glad I watched live versus yeah. binging, which is rare for me. I'm a binger, but like it was such a nice like break. Yeah. We've talked about this before, how like it's always nice to have a show that's just like fun where like even the intensity of the show isn't like so much that you're like going through it over it where it's just yeah. like, God, it's nice to watch and it's nice to escape. And it's like you get to just be like, oh, my God, Ping is so cute. He's so overwhelmingly cute. Just the whole time you're just like the overwhelmed by how cute he is. The way that Mean looks at Ping like cow dry just in general i understand like there was a moment in the finale where i was like this this ship will sail forever yeah like (laughs) this ship can't in my heart if anything because it's true this is like almost like pond poo and level where it's like you know who fell first but you know who fell harder and i am a pond poo and delulu (laughs) and i'm like proud of it i don't yeah because, like, Mean and Ping are, like, oh, my God. A truly Mean and Ping are the cutest. I will forever and always have the vivid memory of that video. You know the video. Where uh, Mean is, like, a basketball player. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, and yeah. he is playing basketball with his little basketball team. And Ping has come to cheer him on because now they're a ship. Because they're they boyfriends. Have, they have to do the ship Yeah, because they're boyfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and a basketball uh, – uh, a uh, stray basketball comes <laughs> out of nowhere, and and ironically, Ping grabs Mean because Mean is back is facing the basketball, and he pushes the basketball away, and he saves him, which is truly magical. Because like it's in like, this situation, I mean, it's like, what is this feel? But it's like, <laughs> really? because the craziest part is that like it's it's Mean and Ping, right? Like it's supposed, it's always like Mean, mean saving mean, the day. Mean. Well, because Ping is just so cute. Like you want to protect him, you're like, oh. So my true. god this boy and so this video like i think i've watched this video a hundred times it's every pretty time outstanding. every time the video comes up is like oh, damn and i think even he's isn't he holding like a mean fan yeah because he's there to like he's there to like boyfriend. yeah, yeah. Good yeah, Lord. I really like Mean and Ping for <sighs> so many himself. reasons. Um, we talked about this during I Long Night, but I feel like I will never not bring it up. Um, Ping was a Fornalog trainee. Yes. A lo- Sinalog? I have no idea. Sinalog? Sinalog? 
the label Trinity's on. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce the four entire English. I don't know because it's like the number oh, four right. N O L O G E, right? Or L O U G E. But I don't know if it's like cow na, like nine na, right. like you pronounce the nine in Thai. So I don't know if it's supposed to be four in a log or if it's C in a log. <laughs> I don't scary. know. I don't know. I'm unclear. Whatever, however you say that company, um, trainee with. <laughs> A-T-L-A-S to the B. It always comes back to Atlas. It always comes back to Atlas. And it's really funny, actually, because there's a video yes. of Mean Ping, right? If you're watching like Mean Ping Shipwork, which I think you should. Yes, yes. Um at a, a three C E. It's at a three C E appearance yeah. and Atlas performs. It's so cute. And it's so cute because <laughs> Ping is in the front row and Mean just looks so confused because Ping is like enthused because these are his friends, I right? Know. Like Atlas so and happy Ping have like him. stayed in yeah. touch. Yeah, they're like friends, friends. And he's like, these are his friends and he's like so happy for them because if you don't know the story of Atlas, they're basically like self-formed. Like yeah. they were all trainees together and they were supposed to be in this group and then it didn't happen. But like those seven boys were like, stay no, together. we want to be Atlas. We're going <laughs> to stay together. And then they like truly like created their own yeah. group and went and found a label for themselves. It's truly inspiring. Anyways, um, and so Ping, of course, knows this whole story and yes. is like so happy for them. Yeah, and he's yeah, just yeah. like so like enthused. enthused, but also in the same way that you like watch your friends, and you kind of tease them a little bit. Yeah. He's like doing that, and then at last are messing with Ping too, right? Yeah. It's very cute. Because same thing, right? Ping has been a trainee and has been trying to like make this career in the entertainment right. industry. And so now there he is with his ship and he's done it too, right? <laughs> and so they're also messing with him a little bit. And Mean just looks so confused. Like he's sitting there and he just looks just like bewildered at what's happening. <laughs> but like also genuinely amused. Yeah, like, yeah. It's very really happy. cute. It's very cute. It's really cute. Cute. Also, these two boys are very talented. I've seen clips from their fan meeting that they did, and yeah. Mina and Pink can because dance. Mean also, I think, was a trainee at some point. Mm. I don't know where. I don't know. But yeah, I remember very everyone talented. being like shocked that Pink could sing and dance, and I was like, "You guys, he could have been an ATLS to the beat. He could have been an Atlas. He should have. He has. I the disagree. Height. I, he does have the height, but I Atlas it would is be perfect. weird. And Atlas is perfect. It's true. It's true. 10 out of 10 no notes but yeah I, I feel like he would have taken like Poom's role as the cute oh, one. Oh, the cute one can't have that yeah no because Poom is Mr. Big Celebrity how dare you <laughs> uh mean and ping were always meant to be yeah 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 mean and ping destiny yeah yeah I love the way that they ended this series where they're like having their cute little moment at their little beach like in in true never let me go fashion where they've opened this like beach this is like Same. if Never Let Me Go was like slapstick. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, true. But it's cute because they like break the fourth wall and they like look into the camera and they're like, oh my God, don't look at us. And they close the door and it's very cute. Yeah. Yeah. This is truly like if Never Let Me Go was supposed to be like a comedy. Right. A rom-com. Yeah. I would. I think that would be so funny to take a series like a Never Let Me Go, like those characters and put them in a rom-com. Like, they should have made our sky. They kind of did. They, ca- they kind of did. They yeah, kinda did. they, they kind of did. did. Uh, that would be so fun. Oh, the show is just it's so, so cute. cute. Really usual. It's eight episodes. It's Go such a it. nice, like, like winter break. By the way, yeah. happy holidays. If you're celebrating this time of year, this is a good winter break watch. Yeah. Because it's eight episodes. It's so easy. It's really fun and light. And then go watch I Long Night. <laughs> To see where Bean and Pink yeah, really sure. started. Maybe watch an I Long Night cut. I mean, 10 out of 10 I Long Night, also on IGE. So yeah. if you're already on there, you know. It's true. Yeah. They're so cute. This is a really there, good show. There's a music video that Mean and Ping just released. I'm pretty sure they're in Korea or somewhere where there's fall. Because I realized halfway <laughs> through the video, they're in a fall like landscape. Yeah. Like in a park where there's like leaves. In falling. Thailand, like the other day, Mimi was telling us, she was like, it's so cold here. And we were like, Mimi, what, like, what's the temperature? It was like 82. And yeah. she was like, I'm freezing. <laughs> it's so cold. Uh, but they have this really cute music video where they're just like frolicking and it's truly just mean looking at ping in the most endearing way you've ever seen again i understand like i get him like i feel him on a deep soul level um i feel like you should make this episode into a drinking game where every time we say cute you take the tiniest sip because yeah because be otherwise wasted. you'll yeah this should be your christmas drinking game yes <laughs> uh, or actually okay here's what you do watch my dear gangster opa yes this is your drinking game Every time Ping's eyes do the scrunchy thing, you drink. 
that's so cute. I will say Mean has a really good ability to make his eyes like glisten in the most like He literally has like sparkle emotional eyes emotional way. Like if you've crying. seen Yeah, like if you've seen like like an anime boy where like his eyes have like a yeah. sparkle, like that's literally what Mean looks like in real life, which is unfair. Also like, they make Ping cry so much I know. always. Every time Ping cries drink. Yes. <laughs> But he's so damn cute. He's so cute. It's upsetting. <sighs> oh, we have merch. We do. Go buy some Christmas. Shout out to that person who bought yes, a gift for yes. somebody. Yes, and I'm so sorry if you got it because I didn't read all the... I was, like, trying to pack it and get it out in time, and I didn't read. And so the note is addressed to the wrong person. It's my bad. That's on me. <laughs> um. Also, we have people keep adding to the wait list for this Thailand yes. trip. So keep signing up for the thailand trip who knows we might just go ahead and book one for 2025 sure sure <laughs> get crazy i don't know maybe do we want to spend like new year's in thailand absolutely if you would do a, a christmas new year's trip let us know oh that would be so fun It'd be cute right we need to be in thailand do you think christmas? that our families would absolutely hate us if we were like bye i mean <laughs> mine absolutely would because i'm an only child and like i am forever I, obligated i don't think my family would really be surprised i think they'd be like this feels right for you <laughs> i would just have to like combine probably christmas and thanksgiving that's the great thing too is like we literally I mean, we do... could go like after christmas we're really only skipping anyways if you have <laughs> thoughts and opinions about this please comment dm us yes. let us know if you could actually travel during that time and would want to go yes yeah. we're all grown-ups Tell them to their cute boys in Thailand that well, need you. If you have like children or something, I don't know, and you're like gonna ruin their lives if like <laughs> there's no Santa anymore because of Let's Talk BL. Oh, listen, it's you gotta grow up sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been Let's Talk BL. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow all things Let's Talk BL at Let's Talk BL.